Hello and welcome to another episode of Equititles, The Daily Discussion. My name is Karen Daly. I am the attorney and manager for the Echo Title One Loud and Ashburn office. And with me today, I have John Lyon, who is the attorney and manager for Echo Title's Reston office. And today we are going to be talking about title issues in a transaction. Hello again, John. Thanks for having me on, Karen. Yes, indeed. Good to see you as well. So let's talk about title problems. They are quite common that we encounter, yes? Yes, they're, they're really, I kind of view two categories of title problems. Mm -hmm. There are the run-of-the-mill title problems that are extremely common. Right. Okay. Then there are the kind of upper level category of title problems that aren't as common. They happen frequently, but they're not run-of-the-mill everyday problems. So for our run-of-the-mill title issues that we see, which I think at one point, it seems like there's one out of every three files that has a title issue of some sort. I would agree, <laughs> yes. Um, what type of typical run-of-the-mill problems do you see? Well, the classic title problem, the classic common title problem is the unreleased trust. Mm -hmm. It yes. seems like any time our industry goes through a refi boom, uh -huh. that there are a bunch of liens that got paid off but the proper documentation never got recorded over at the courthouse. And quite honestly, it is Echo Title's job in those cases to run those down. Gotcha. And it's the bane of our existence. It creates a lot of work, but it is a service that we always provide and, and we're very good at it. It just occasionally takes time to get it done. It does, especially if the lender has sold off to another lender and you've got to track down the chain. You've got to follow the trail all the way back. Indeed, indeed. Uh, because at the end of the day, the seller has the responsibility to make sure they're giving good, marketable, and insurable title, right? Absolutely. The contract that we use mm -hmm. in the vast majority mm -hmm. of our transactions, the seller is promising to deliver good, marketable title, mm -hmm. which is insurable at no additional risk premium. Those are the words of the contract. So the seller's obligation to deliver clear title yeah. is based on the language in the contract. So with the second category, what are some, t some issues that you have seen where there's been extra steps needed to clear title? You know, um, there's all different types, shapes and sizes of significant title problems. One might be an un unreleased trust where you can't find the lender to sign the release. Um, I had that case recently. Mm -hmm. um, we, we tracked it back all the way through and it turned out that the person, that the company that we needed to sign the release didn't exist anymore. Oh. And the FDIC knew nothing about it, mm -hmm. so we couldn't find any way to get it released. Mm -hmm. In that case, your solution is to file suit to quiet title okay. um, you know, at the county court. Mm -hmm. Now that's not the type of stuff that ECHO typically does. Mm -hmm. Our job, I think, in that situation is get you to the right person right. to do that for you. Mm -hmm. And I went through that in 2021. It took a couple of months to get it resolved, but it got resolved and we closed the deal. Upper level title problems can include a driveway that's built on the neighbor's property. Maybe you find that out in the survey. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Echo Title can't go out there and chip the driveway away for you. It's true. So they need the seller's cooperation in order to do that. Or the one I had, I think, recently where the garage corner encroached onto the neighbor's land. Um, a serious yeah. structure yes. built over the boundary line. Yep. So all of these examples illustrate why it's important to go with a good, experienced company like Echo Title. I would agree 100%. It is always beneficial to have attorneys mm -hmm. in the company that have seen these problems before. And if they don't handle them themselves, they've built relationships in the legal community to get you to the proper attorney to handle the problem. And that's the type of thing you've got with Echo Title and probably of significant value to the realtors out there. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, John. Appreciate, as always, your advice. It's always fun to do this, Karen. And we hope that you found that this was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post in the comment section below, or you can reach out to any one of us here at Echo Title, and we will be more than happy to discuss your transaction with you and provide assistance. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has all of our videos that you can download and share with your clients. Thanks so much and have a great day.